Lesson two, what cup features seem the most important for keeping a drink cold? So this is a two-day lesson that I'm going to review in a one-part video. So <clears throat> to start, we're going to look at cup systems and how do we test some factors that seem more important than others? So one of the things we're going to explore is the lid. Do you think the lid is a key feature that keeps the cup system cold? Why or why not? What do you think we'll see if we test this feature? So if we're testing a lid, a lot of times kids think that a lid will automatically keep a drink colder. The issue is if you assume something's true without testing it, that's not science. So we have to make sure that what we assume is true is actual truth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a variety of cups in class. We're gonna use metal cups, paper cups, styrofoam cups, fancy and regular cups, and we're going to um, figure out if the lid versus no lid is accurate. We're going to fill out this sheet, and you're going to go to this table here, and you're going to find your class's data and put the data in. Then on day two, we're going to see if we can draw conclusions on our data. And so what we're going to do is you're going to look at the data table and we're going to look at the numbers on our data table to figure out if the lid versus no lid works. And we're going to figure out if the lid is or is not. Now, if you're absent, you're going to have to look at the class's data table and figure out which ones are the best ones and which ones are the worst ones and write that in your geo journal next to that. And so when you rank the cups from best to worst, you're able to see in the numbers what works best.